Hi, how are you today? I pray that you're well. My name is Minister Sarah Gakinya, and I am a minister of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. And I am just happy to be in the Lord today. Today I'm being inspired by the word of the Lord from the book of John, chapter 9, verse 12, whereby Jesus was passing with his disciples. You know, everywhere Jesus went, he did something good. Whenever Jesus passed by, he did not leave the people the same. He always made a difference in their lives everywhere jesus passed he did not leave people the same he made a difference jesus passed and somebody would receive their healing where jesus passed there would be deliverance going on wherever jesus passed he gave people food he gave them nourishment spiritual nourishment and he gave them nourishment for their bodies wherever jesus went there was a spirit of multiplication and abundance following him and manifesting among the people. Wherever Jesus passed, he forgave sin. He changed the atmosphere. Where there was sadness, Jesus brought joy and peace. Where there was death, Jesus brought life. Hallelujah. Jesus, he gave hope to many people that he came across. And so this day, I believe when Jesus was passing with his disciples, he was well dressed. He must have been tall and handsome. And uh, most of us believe he had long hair and Whatever the case, whatever you believe, Jesus must be really good looking. So today he was passing. This day he was passing by and uh, he must be, he must have been, you know, happy as usual and ready to meet the people as usual and ready to make a difference among the people. Now, Jesus was passing and in all his glory, in all his prestige, he is as prestigious as a king as he is passing on this street today. And people respected him. He was admired by people who followed him. Jesus walked around and he was full of charisma. He had an attractiveness that went with him. He was a charming man and he moved with divine power and talent and it was attractive to everybody. It attracted everybody's attention. So his disciples, as he was passing by with them, there was a blind man that was sitting somewhere and Jesus saw him as he passed. Jesus saw the blind man as he was passing. And the disciples asked Jesus, why is this man blind? Is it his sin or is it the sin of his parents? And Jesus responded to them. And the response was quite shocking because back then people believed if you were sick or if you were lame or if something was wrong with you, it was because of some kind of sin that was in your life. But Jesus said, no. Verse 3 of John chapter 9. Neither the man nor his parents has sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. His blindness was to bring glory and praise and honor to God. Maybe you're going through something today and you wonder, what did I ever do to God for him to let this thing to happen to me? Maybe you cannot get a job. Everything is closing down on you. Your clients are disappearing on you. Everything is shutting down on you. There's no money. There's, everything is just collapsing. But you know what? There are some things that are going on in your life today because Jesus is supposed to glorify himself through your life. Amen? Verse 4, Jesus says, I must work so that I can do. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is still day and you realize jesus performed miracles every day any day anywhere it did not matter whether it was a sabbath it did not matter whether people wanted it or not whether they approved it or not he was in the business of his father as long as i am in this world jesus said in verse 5 i am the light of the world. I'm telling you today that Jesus wants to shine his light on you today. As long as I am the light, Jesus said, I will turn every situation that is wrong around. As long as I am the light, I will heal the sick. As long as he is a light, Jesus is going to protect you. As long as Jesus is a light, 
I will save you. As long as I am the light, I will wash you and make you whole. I will open doors before you that have been shut. I will open golden opportunities for you because I am the light. As long as I am the light, I will do the works of my Father. That is what Jesus came to do. And even today, right now, wherever you are, Jesus is ready and he is willing to manifest the works of his Father in your life because that is what God wants to happen in your life. The situation that you're going through is a situation that is set up so that God can glorify himself through your life. Look at this story. Jesus was passing and he saw a blind man and he approached this man because he knew this situation is for bringing glory to my father who is in heaven. This situation is supposed to cause people to believe in God. The situation that you're going through is supposed to bring glory and honor to God. It is supposed to bring somebody to Jesus. It is a situation that will cause people to be born again and to receive Christ. So your sickness that you're going through today, it is supposed to bring God the glory, hallelujah. Wait for the time of your visitation. Your time of your visitation is coming. And as this man was sitting right there, his time of visitation came. Jesus was passing by in all glory, in all beauty, in all splendor. And as he was passing, he saw this man. I want you to know that Jesus is seeing you. Jesus can see you right where you are. But you must wait for your time of visitation. You might, must wait for that time where the anointing will be stirred. And when the anointing is stirred, you get to receive your miracle. Hallelujah. And so Jesus was stirred. The anointing was stirred from within him. And he approached this man. And he spat. Jesus spat on the ground and he made clay with his hands and applied the clay. He anointed this man's eyes with the clay with mixed with soil and saliva. And he told this man, go and wash your face. Go and wash your eyes at the pool of Siloam. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this man was blind, but he did not say, I cannot see. I cannot make my way to the pool because I cannot see. Instantly, this man rose up and made his way to the pool and came back seeing. He came back with a restored sight. It doesn't matter what you're going through today. Jesus is coming your way. And whatever he will tell you to do, you do it without questioning and your miracle will take place. The situation that you are in today is to bring glory and honor to God. But remember, you must be ready to hear the command of the Lord and to obey the command of the Lord because this man was blind. He had the command of the Lord. He had what Jesus said. He said, go and wash your eyes. Go and clean up at Siloam. He ran over there. And instantly, as soon as the water contacted his eyes, he began to see. What is the command that Jesus is giving you today? Is he telling you to sow a seed in a ministry? Is he telling you to serve him? What is the Lord telling you? Listen to the command and your obedience will trigger the anointing for your miracle. Hallelujah. And this man began to see and he walked everywhere and everybody saw him and everybody was shocked. They were surprised. They asked each other, is this not the man who was blind? And the man heard them and he said, yeah, it was me. I was blind, but now I can see. And they wanted to know, how is it that you can see? And they said, a man called Jesus, he anointed my eyes with mud, with clay. And he sent me to go to the pool of Siloam and cleanse myself. And now I can see. Hallelujah. The situation that you're going through, whatever it is that you're passing through, God is going to use your obedience to bring forth your miracle. Maybe there are millions of shillings or millions of dollars, millions of sterling pounds that are at stake. Hear the voice of the Lord. If you know Jesus, ask Jesus, Lord, what is it that you want me to do so that I may break through into my victory?
God bless you so much. I'm from a ministry called Sarah's House, Kenya, and I am a minister of the gospel. I thank you. You have been listening to my messages and responding to me. Some of you have given me your support. You surprised me and you gave me something to eat. You gave me something to drink. I thank you so much. And I say God bless you so much. And I appreciate the fact that you acknowledge that I am a servant of God. And what I give to you is spiritual. And the Bible says, what is it if you give unto the men and women of God material things? What is it to you if you give your money? It is no big deal. It is no big deal. Because the treasure that is coming from within me is greater than what you can give me. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Those who are sick in your body. Those who have situations that are beyond human comprehension. Those who have situations that are beyond human solutions. Jesus is here right now. He's passing and he's willing to do something for you. I pray that you may listen to the voice of God in your heart, deep down in your heart. And hear what God is telling you to do. For every miracle, there is obedience required. The man was sitting there blind, frustrated. He did not know what to do. He had probably gone to every which doctor that he knew. He had probably gone to each and every doctor that he knew. He probably had spent all his family wealth trying to get his eyes to see. But all he needed all along was obedience. Obey as the Lord sent you. If he sends you to me, come running in a hurry. If he sends you to the church, wherever he sends you, go and do it and see the breakthrough and the greatness of God manifesting in your life. God bless you so much. And remember to tune in to my Facebook channel, to my YouTube channel as well at Saraga Kenya and listen to all the messages and they will bless you and lift you to the glory of God. Remember to share. Remember also to subscribe. God bless you so much.